Yes, so let's make a pretty tough pivot and talk about uh, some criminal justice issues. And this tweet from Jason Maynard in Lawrence County asks, can the candidates for attorney general clarify their stances on medical cannabis and the legalization of cannabis for adults? As attorney general, would they take steps to reduce the criminalization of cannabis to save tax dollars, court dockets, and jail space? And we'll begin with you, Mr. Cameron. Well, let me just say that uh, I think uh, as the individual that's running to be the chief law enforcement officer, here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, uh, we can't be uh, arguing for or in favor of uh, legalizing the rec recreational use of marijuana. I think we need a discussion about uh, medical marijuana. Uh, I think the law enforcement community wants a cautious approach to those conversations. They're a little bit leery. The reason I know that is because uh, I've been with them every step of the way as it relates to this campaign. I've been to the Kentucky Narcotics Officers Association meetings. I've been to our prosecutors meetings here our sheriffs and our police chiefs meetings. Uh, so I've listened to their concerns. I obviously reflect those concerns and think that we need to have a frank and open, honest conversation. But let me also talk about uh, what I've done as it relates to the hemp legislation. Uh, hemp is a product uh, that is a cousin of marijuana. Uh, and I was proud to help get it legalized on the federal level so that our farmers can use it, but also that it could be uh, looked at for research to determine whether CBD derived from hemp uh, is an alternative uh, to some of the CBD that we're, we're seeing folks ask for uh, from marijuana. Okay. So, so let's get back to the initial question of uh, medical cannabis. Mr. Stumbo, where do you stand on that? Well, when I was speaker, I filed a bill to legalize medical marijuana, Renee, and I did it because we have a family foundation and we raised money for the uh, autism school for kids in Prestonsburg. And a lot of those parents who had autistic children have been able to secure some medical marijuana from states where it was legal. And they relayed to us their stories about how it helped those kids. Just last Friday, I met with a mother and her daughter in my office, and her daughter uh, has a very rare and terminal illness. Uh, she relayed the same story to me, that medical marijuana tablets help her daughter. Now, I believe that if it helps those kids, it ought to be legalized. Nobody showed me any proof uh, of any harm that it does. The only things that I've heard come forth is the fact that medical marijuana does help some people, and I think it ought to be legalized. So what about uh, decriminalizing small p possession amounts of marijuana? Mike O'Connor, mm -hmm. uh, the Jefferson County attorney, a friend of mine, a supporter of mine, uh, made a public statement that he was going to do that. I think that issue needs to be resolved by the General Assembly. Uh, I don't believe that prosecutors uh, can just disregard the law although I support what he did, but I do think and I'll push for and advocate that the General Assembly make those changes if I'm elected Attorney General, but there's no question. We've got too many low-level, nonviolent drug offenders in jail mm -hmm. that can't make bail. Bail's a serious issue in this state. 